Hi, I'm Greg Morrow. It's an honor to be working for you as Minister of Agriculture. Nova Scotia has a rich history in this sector, and a bright future too. Last year, our government set an ambitious goal. By 2030, we want 20% of all the food we eat in this province to be grown, raised, caught, or made right here in Nova Scotia. So how do we do that? First, by encouraging Nova Scotians to find and buy local. We need to make it easy for people to identify local products, which is a key pillar of the government's new Nova Scotia Loyal Program. And we're putting together a provincial food and beverage strategy. We've brought together a working group from 12 government departments, and we've started connecting with industry partners and community stakeholders too. The second path to our goal is getting more local food and beverages into our hospitals, healthcare facilities, schools, and universities. And work on that is already underway. And third, we need to support our food producers and processors so they're ready to meet the demand of buy local initiatives. We created programs that encourage innovation and competitiveness, which we're using to make targeted and strategic investments. As a parent, I know how important school milk programs are. Amid rising food costs, our government will cover a planned price increase in the school milk program to ensure milk stays affordable for families when students return to classrooms in September. We've invested an additional $100,000 in the Blueberry Pollination Expansion Program to support blueberry growers who keep bees to pollinate their crops. And recently, we joined the other provinces and territories to negotiate a new five-year agreement with the federal government that will bring more than $9 million in program funding to our province each year. And we're just getting started. Whether you're a producer in this province or, like me, a happy consumer, thank you for being a part of our success.